and breakout oscillator. So this oscillator is a very classical oscillator and it uses the Bollinger Bands to calculate itself. Everyone knows the Bollinger Bands, very common indicator, but turning it into an oscillator gives some interesting advantages. So very simple. We see green, price should go up. We see red, price should go down. Green, price goes up. Red, price should go down. Kind of classical, but it has that slight mix because we see there's areas between them. So the green starts here, but it's also red at the same time. So when you get this overlapping area, it's like a message, hey, trend might be changing. We might see, see a trend reversal. So here we get this red mound. The price comes down when it starts to turn red. And then we get this overlap area and it's like, hey, something might be happening. The trend might be changing. So we can use it very classically like that. We can also use it with overbought and oversold zones and even divergences. So I brought up a particularly nice example here just to highlight it. We get an overbought zone here and price starts to go up. We get an overbought zone here, price starts to go up and it may be overbought here, price starts to go up. Here we see a divergence. The Bollinger Band breakout oscillator makes a lower high but price makes a higher low and the price starts to reverse so it can be used very classically like that it's a really versatile oscillator so we can use it as a filter for signals now i've brought up the confirmation signals using lux algo but you can use an ma cross you can use whatever signals you want it really doesn't matter i just use these as an example because i like them so the strategy for example could be only take buy signals when the oscillator is green we get two strongs here Two buy signals, we go on a big run. We see a sell signal here, we don't take it. We don't take it because the oscillator is green and it hasn't turned red yet. There's no there's no evidence of red. Strong sell signal, big red oscillator. Price goes down, we ignore this buy. This strong signal is a dud, we can't win them all. And then we get a strong buy, the oscillator starting to turn green and it goes on a run. So it can be used as a filter for signals because it's trend following. So it's very adaptive in that way. So if you like to use Bollinger Bands and you like the logic behind them and you want to introduce them into your trading without the overlay on your chart, this is a great solution because it also has a directional component. Bollinger Bands aren't inherently directional. You can't see, hey, the trend is going up or the trend is going down. You have to interpret from them. But this explicitly tells you, hey, using Bollinger Bands calculations, the price is going up, the trend is up. So it's a really nice way of bringing Bollinger Bands into your trading and making them more simple and compacting that information down.